Hey everybody, this video is to teach you the Arabic alphabet, and let's get right into it. This is the first letter of the Arabic alphabet. They call it Alif. It is a vertical line. It's pronounced just like A. The A in English. Alif. This is Ba. It's like a half circle with a dot on the bottom. Ba. It's just like the B in English. Ba. This is Ta. It looks just like the B, as in it has a, it has a semicircle, but it has two dots on top. Ta. It's pronounced just like the T in English. And I'm not going to spend a whole lot of time on the letters that we already have in English. I'm going to spend more time on the letters we don't have in English, which are hard for, for native English speakers to learn. Um, this is Tha. We have it in English. It's uh, Tha, as in three. And uh, it's a semicircle with three dots on top, just like Ba and Ta, but with three dots on top. This is Jim. It is. It just looks like that, and it has a dot in the middle. Jim. It's a J. 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 Jim. And this is the first letter that we do not have in English. It's called Ha. It's pronounced like an H, but more friction in the back of the throat. And uh, yeah, it's drawn just like a Jim, but with no dot. Ha. Haymaya is a uh, a word in Arabic that that uh, uses ha as the first letter. Haymaya. It means uh, protection. Ha. It might take some getting used to, but um, you'll you'll get it eventually. Next letter. Ha. It's just like the uh, ha and the jim. It's written just like the ha, ha and the jim, but with a with with a dot on top. With a uh, dot on top. Yeah. They have this in uh, Russian and uh, several other languages, I'm sure. We don't have it in English, but it's the phlegm sound that Arabic is uh, well known for. Kha. This is del. It's a D. Del. It looks like a little right angle, kind of. It's pretty. It's this pretty small letter, del. Just like a D. This is vel. It's a del with a dot on top. The. The. That's the sound it makes. The. And, um... Yeah, but as in as in the word V, the, like the article V, T H E, the, it's the same sound. It's just a del with a dot on top. That's how you write it. This is ra, ra. It's a it's a rolled R. Ra, ra. Just looks li just like that. This is Zay. It's the uh, Arabic Z. It has a dot on top. Zay. Some people call it Zane. It doesn't really matter what the letter is called as long as you know how to pronounce it and how it's written. Z, and it's just a Z. A ra with a dot on top. This is seen. It's like two two little little dips and then one big dip at the end. Um, yeah, it's uh, the S, the Arabic S, S. We have it in English. This is sheen. It looks just like a seen, except it's got three dots on top. Sheen. It makes the sh sound. We also have that in English, just not as one letter. This is sod, sod, and um, it's basically it's an S, but the vowel after it is going to be more like an aw sound. Sod, not sad, but sod, aw. So it's the, it's like a hard. Remember, it is the hard S for now. Sod is the hard S sound, the more deeper S sound. This is dod. It's the same thing. It's it's a it's a del. It's a D sound, but it has the vowel after it is going to be more aw sounding. Dod, not dad, but dod, dod. And it's a it's a sod with a dot on top. This is paw. Some people call this a vacuum cleaner. I guess it looks kind of like a vacuum cleaner. It's the uh, the deep equivalent of the ta. And uh, yeah, so just remember it as that. It's ta, ta and ta. This is va, va. It looks just like a ta, but with a dot on top. Va, and it's the deep equivalent of the vel. So that's what four letters that we've had so far that uh, are all just basically the same thing, but the vowel after it is going to be a more aw sounding. Va. This next letter is ein. We don't have this in English. It's uh. Pronounced in the back of the throat. It's not. It's not an A. It sounds kind of like an A, but it's not. 
this is this is using the word Arabi, Arabi, not Arabi, Arabi. Ah, ah, ah. Sounds like you're hawking hawking something up or something. Ein looks like a backwards three. And this is Rhein. It sounds like you're gargling, and it has a uh, dot on top. It's an Ein with a dot on top. R, r, r. It's kind of like the French R, kind of. It's not quite like that. Irtiel, Reyer, Irtiel. Those are two words that have uh, Rhein. This is Fa. It's the English H, the Arabic H. It's I mean F, F, not H. Fa, Fa, Fa. It has a dot on top. Fa, strong like that with a dot on top. This is Qaf. It's just like the Fa, but with two dots on top. Kaf is also a letter that we don't have in English. Kaf. It's not a. It's not a k. K is a calf. Calf. This is the the Arabic k. Calf. K k k. Kaf, on the other hand, is different. It's pronounced in the back of the throat. Kaf. Kaf. Um. It looks just like the fa with two dots on top. Cough. Um, and if you don't get the calf and the cough, if you don't um, distinguish properly between them, like say them the right way, there are many words in Arabic that use that the only difference between them is one uses a calf and one uses a cough. Like um, the word kelb means dog, kalb means heart. So you can see how if you don't say them right, somebody might be might think you're saying heart when you're saying dog, things like that. But yeah. Qaf, it's another hard one. This along with Ayn are probably the... Ayn, Ha, and Qaf are three letters that English native English speakers really mess up a lot. But if you try, you'll you'll get it. If you make a, an, an, an effort, people will understand you anyway. Most of the time. This is Lam, it's the L. It looks like a fish hook. It's the Arabic L, Lam. La, la, la. This is Meme. It's the Arabic M. It's a circle with a little dangly thing. Meme. Noon. This is the Arabic N. Don't ask me why they didn't put this with the ba, the ta, and the tha, because it, it looks like it should be grouped with them, because it looks just like them with one dot on top. It's the Arabic N. This is ha. This is the H that we have in English. We already went over ha, but this is ha. It's just pronounced just like we pronounce pronounce it in English, house, hat, just like that, ha, it's just a circle. This is wow, and uh, it can be pronounced as an oo or a wa sound. So this letter has two sounds now, wa or oo. Um, and there's another letter here that has two sounds, it's called ya. It, uh, it can be a ya, like a y, like the letter of Y in English, or an E sound. E or Y. E or Y for the letter Y. It's a little squiggle with two dots on the bottom. This is not really a letter, but I think it's in the alphabet. So they write the alphabet differently, but this is also something that they use in words. It's called a Hamza. It, uh, it's a glottal stop. It's just you cut off the breath. You cut off the air from your breath. Uh, uh, uh. Uh, yeah. This is the... Uh, Ta marbuta, and it's pronounced just like a, uh, just like an A, and it, but it's sometimes pronounced like a T, and that's all I'm going to say for now because it'll just it'll be confusing if I try and tell you more whenever you don't know anything about else about the language. Um, so for now, just remember it's sometimes a T sound and sometimes it's an A sound. And uh, I hope the video was helpful. Um, I plan to upload more videos about Arabic stuff to try and teach teach it because there's there's really a dearth of videos on Arabic on YouTube right now and uh, all right